The graphics in this game? Family. Friends. Whack! The dialogue? Perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. Yes. N no. Yes. Whack! The Not story? No problem! Look, I'm gonna take the Ballo resin back to Sepal, save Break Bob, and get the f back to New York. Whack! The way you spend hours enjoying fade through transitions every time you try to pick up a book? Could you tell me about him? Whack! The traversal in combat? <laughs> Tight as f. This bear is the same bear from the movie The Revenant, and he's mad because Leonardo DiCaprio stole his award for Best Actor at the Oscars. Now, he has dedicated his life to proving he is a better actor than Leonardo DiCaprio. His first attempt at this massive feat is to play a role in a new storytelling masterpiece called Forspoken. Hello. Oh, sh. Oh, hello, yes. So oh, perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. Yes. N no. Yes. You, the one talking to me right now, are this cuff? Sorry, Bear. I am so far from home. I I'm trying to get back. I, I, I fell through a, um... Whoosh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a, a, a voosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I gotta get back to where I gotta be through a, a, a voosh. Voosh, uh, you will get back to where you need to be. Voosh. Yes, voosh. <laughs> voosh. I'll show you Voosh. Listen up, everybody. There's a new sheriff in these parts. Voosh! <laughs> they look like clumps of doo-doo falling off the bridge. <laughs> oh, y'all want some more, huh? Oh, you want some more, huh? That's okay. Voosh! <laughs> See ya, kitty litter. Y'all can't get me now. I got them new powers. Uh-oh, it's Vushin time. Boosh! All right, now it's time to face a real threat. Let's go, Bozo. Show me what you got. Are you a match for the Vush? Nope. Time to go back to the zombies. You know, it doesn't require more range. Boosh! <laughs> I still can't get over those ragdoll effects. This part of the game is the best part of the game. And ripped straight from another game. Pokemon. You gotta catch all the kitty cats. Except, they're not kitty cats. They're actually Pokemon. I mean, just look at this guy. He's got a horn out of his head. And <laughs> fighter tattoos and... He's a, he's a little biker kitty. <laughs> he's got little biker bracelets. Oh, on his tail, too. Little biker rings. You gotta be careful. Sneak up on him slowly. Or he'll stab you with his horn. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he loves you. Little biker kitty. And his little biker bracelets. Aw, good kitty. Goodness, you're a breaker. Oh, shoot, I forgot my Pokeballs. I don't even know what's going on here. All the animals in this game are jacked up. I got... I'm fighting Santa's evil reindeer or something over here. Look at how high they jump. Look at that. That ain't no normal reindeer. That's Santa's reindeer. I'm tired of you fools. Time to take it in the bump. And now Mr. Reindeer knows how it feels to play this game. Okay, let's look at this game through a slightly more sincere lens. Forspoken has, or as I should say, had, a ton of potential. But as an old high school coach of mine used to say about something or someone who has potential, they aren't worth a crap right now. There are a lot of repetitive and soulless side activities in the open world, and sometimes I can't tell if I'm playing a graphical beacon of the next generation or a 2011 PS3 game. But these letdowns do not kill Forspoken. The game's story and writing are what shoot it in the foot. For the vast majority of the game, the protagonist Frey wants nothing more than to return to her home of New York and vehemently denies the request of Athia's citizens for help when it doesn't suit her personal needs. And it gets old fast. 
you wonder why you're continuing to play the game when your character clearly despises being there herself. That bond between the main character and the player that exists in every game is severely fractured, and I personally lost a ton of inspiration and motivation to continue to peruse Athia and voosh all my foes. This speaks to a requirement for story-heavy single-player games in general. The main character doesn't necessarily have to exhibit all the qualities the player wishes to embody or what they aspire to be, but that character must certainly motivate the player. They should both share that desire to keep exploring the world and progressing through the story. Think about all your favorite single-player games and how those protagonists accomplish that. Arthur from Red Dead, Joel from The Last of Us, Spider-Man, Master Chief, heck, even Trevor from Grand Theft Auto V. You may not want to be him in real life, but he still motivates you to keep playing. If Luminous and Square Enix wish to make a sequel that meets the expectations we originally had for Forspoken, they must write Frey as a character motivated to be the hero we the players desperately wished she'd be. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know what you think about this style of video as it's a little bit new for me. Um, I plan on making more like this in the future, especially if you leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know how I can change up my style. And uh, if you'd like to see more, well, maybe consider subscribing. But until next time, guys, take care.